Following the action potential, neurotransmitters are released into the synapse. The transmitter molecules bind with specialized structures called receptors on the postsynaptic or receiving neurons membrane. There are two different types of receptors on a postsynaptic membrane, ionotropic or ion channel receptors and metabotropic or G protein coupled receptors. When a neurotransmitter binds to an ionotropic receptor, the transmitter receptor complex generates rapid and brief changes in postsynaptic neuronal excitability. In other words, the binding of a neurotransmitter to an ionotropic receptor results in the opening of ion channels across the postsynaptic cell membrane. Depending on the type of ion channels that are opened, sodium, potassium, calcium, or chloride, for example, will begin to flow into or out of the cell, inducing either EPSPs or IPSPs in the postsynaptic neuron. The binding of transmitters to receptors, which opens membrane ion channels, is the mechanism by which the chemical message between neurons is converted to the electrical message within neurons. Metabotropic, or G-protein coupled receptors, work indirectly to change the excitability of postsynaptic neurons, either by changing calcium ion levels inside the neuron or by activating second messengers. The activation of metabotropic receptors result in slower, longer lasting, and more complicated postsynaptic changes. These postsynaptic changes range from the opening of ion channels to changes in internal calcium ion levels to changes in gene expression. Once the neurotransmitter activates the receiving neuron's receptors, the message has been sent and the transmitter is no longer needed in the synapse. In fact, if the transmitter remained in the synapse, it would repeatedly bind to the postsynaptic receptors activate them, and keep inducing EPSPs or IPSPs. The postsynaptic potential effect or release of neurotransmitters is terminated in one of two ways. The first is known as a process called reuptake, where the neurotransmitter is taken back up into the sending neuron and recycled for release following another action potential. The other, called enzymatic deactivation, involves enzymes breaking down the neurotransmitter into inactive components. The components are then taken back up and recycled. The nervous system is very conservation-minded. It recycles and reuses neurotransmitters. Receptors for neurotransmitters are usually located on postsynaptic neurons or the neurons receiving the messages. However, special kinds of receptors known as autoreceptors are located on the presynaptic or sending neuron. Autoreceptors bind the neuron's own transmitter, which helps to regulate activity of the presynaptic neuron through a feedback process, much like a thermostat regulates the production of heat by a furnace. If the autoreceptor is bound by neurotransmitter, then the presynaptic neuron receives feedback that a sufficient amount of transmitter has been released into the synapse.